I have over $4,000 invested into LEGO, and in today's video, I'm going to be going over the second half of the retired sets I have in my portfolio, and I'll be telling you guys how well of an investment they turned out to be, and whether or not I recommend you buying similar sets to these when similar sets go on sale to add to your investing portfolio. Okay, let's get started with the very first set. So the first one we have here is the Action Battle Echo Defense set. It's a very interactive set. It's got these little Lego cannons to knock down builds. It looks like a pretty fun set. And uh, from this one, I've been able to get a 31.2% return on investment because um, I was able to buy pretty much all these sets on sale. So that is factored into this. And I've been able to get, yeah, like I said, 31.2%, quite a few of these. So it turns out okay but hasn't been the best Star Wars investment I've had. It may go up in value more later on. It hasn't been retired for too long, but we will have to see. Okay, the next set is this one right here, a Lego Harry Potter set. This is the Night Bus, and I've been able to get a 42.3% return on investment from this set. It's Lego set 75957. It's got three minifigures, great set. Harry Potter sets are good investments. Um, I have most of my money invested in Lego Star Wars sets, but Lego Harry Potter sets are second, so normally they end up doing pretty well. So if you're able to get a set like this, it could be a good addition to your investing portfolio. Next up, we have a um, Lego Star Wars 20th anniversary set. In this case, the uh, Pod Racer set, Anakin's Pod Racer 20th anniversary edition. It's got uh, three minifigures. You have Anakin, Padme, and then you've got this Luke Skywalker figure from 1990s. 1999 and uh, yeah a great set of the 20th anniversary sets I've had it has been the worst investment but still pretty great uh, it's got me 51.5% return on investment so it's done really well and I think it'll even go up in value even more because it was one of the last 20th anniversary sets to retire so I think it'll go up even more and I'm getting these percentages from Brick Economy I know it may not always be the most reliable source but with what we've got, it's for LEGO investors, it's a pretty good source, so I'm going to be using it. And then uh, next up, we have a Hoth Generator Attack set right here. This is a set 75239. It's got two minifigures, uh, like the other set. It's got the LEGO cannons, little interactive builds, and uh, it has uh, grown about 27.7%, so good investment. Like I said, not as good as some of my other Star Wars investments, but still okay. All right, next up we have, along similar lines, the uh, Action Battle Endor Assault set. So this is pretty much the same thing, just in Endor. It's got the same, too many figures, uh, Lego cannon, and a very interactive set. It's uh, depicting a pretty famous scene from the Battle of Endor. And this one has gone up in value 32.9%, so it's been a better investment than the Hoth one, which is kind of interesting. I suppose it's a, a slightly more popular scene, so it's ended up being a pretty great investment. And then next up, we have a Marvel set, in this, uh, Lego Avengers. It's got 167 pieces, set 76123. And it has four minifigures. You've got these three Outriders and then the Captain America figure. This one's kind of old. Hasn't been a great investment, but I've been able to get a 43.7% return on investment from this in total, so pretty good. But Marvel sets aren't my favorite to invest in. I normally don't have too many of them in my portfolio, but there are some LEGO Marvel sets that end up being really great investments. I just am not willing to commit as much money to LEGO Marvel sets because not all of them are going to be winners. So next up, we have another, I believe the final 20th anniversary set. This is the Imperial Dropship set. It's got plenty of stormtroopers and this uh, 2000 uh, Han Solo collectible minifigure. So this one has done really well for me. It's gone up 149.9% uh, in value, so great set for my investing portfolio. One of the higher 20th anniversary sets. I've started to sell them off, so I don't have, I believe this is the only one I have. So. I'm probably going to be selling it off soon because it's made so much money and put that money back into my LEGO investing business, but it's been a great investment. Next up, we have a bit of a bigger set here, the Hogwarts Great Hall. So uh, this one hasn't been retired for very long, but I've been able to get a 33.8% return on investment from this one, and I believe that it'll go up in value quite a bit more 
It's a very famous scene, probably one of the most famous from the Harry Potter uh, world, and it's been a pretty great investment so far. So I'm going to hold on to this probably for maybe a year at most, but most likely a couple months. And then next up, we have the uh, Whomping Willow set, which can uh, be attached to the Great Hall set. And it has actually been a better investment than the Great Hall set. It's gone up in value 65.2%. And um, pretty great investment. It's got some good characters, pretty iconic characters, somewhat similar to the characters in the Great Hall. And uh, yeah, great investment. If you're able to get some of these Hogwarts sets, they could be good investments for your portfolio. Next up, we have a bit of a smaller one here, another Harry Potter set though. This is uh, Aragog's Lair. I have, I believe, 11 of these. So they're, they've are they been really great investments for me. I've got plenty of them. It's gone up in value 134.3%. So really great investment. And I think I may hold on to these for a little while longer. I think it's a possibility that they go up a bit more, but a uh, great investment for the most part. If you're able to get these cheaper Lego Harry Potter sets, they can be great additions to your investing portfolio. And uh, next up, we have a uh, Marvel set. This is the Outrider Dropship Attack. It's got uh, three figures, or four figures, and it is, I believe, the oldest set in my investing portfolio. I've had it for quite a while. And it uh, hasn't been a great investment like some other Lego Marvel sets. I've gotten a 33.1% return on investment from it, so, you know, pretty good, but not amazing. And uh, I might sell this one soon. It's not worth very much, so it's not the highest of my priorities, but pretty decent investment, but I have held on to it for quite a bit longer than some of these other sets. And finally, for today, uh, we have this $10 set, uh, just a London bus set. I thought I would build this one, but it's I've just kept it in my investing portfolio. It's worth pretty much exactly the same. Hasn't been a great investment, but it may go up in value more. We'll see. Um, but yeah, so I wouldn't recommend adding creator sets to your investing portfolio. Like I said, I thought I was going to be building this one, but I ended up just keeping it around. So wouldn't recommend adding those kind of sets to your portfolio. But thank you for watching. This has been Brick by Brick. Don't forget to subscribe and let me know about if you have any questions about any of these sets. Thank you.